Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Tui Skyler and my tour and review of a French balcony cabin. We are staying in cabin 221, which is located on deck two. There are only four decks, so you're not going to get lost. And it is located starboard size, mid boat. So to start off, let's find the location of this cabin, starting at the atrium, which is also located on deck two. Depending on how quickly you walk, your journey time will be anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Alrighty, here we are. This is cabin 221. Let's take a peep. Welcome everybody. Now to the left we have some storage space. I will show you that shortly because obviously we want to see the bedroom area first. Now you've got a very good size bed here. Not only that, it is super comfortable. I promise you, you've had some really good night's sleep on board. Now either side of the bed we have two units and in each unit we have two shelves and likewise on this side two more shelves and our phone. Right above your heads you've got two reading lights and a nice bit of contemporary art, a bit of gold and black, love it. Now in front of the bed we've actually got a really good space. Uh, plenty of storage here, plus this is where you've got your kettle, coffees, teas, hot chocolates. Uh, these bottles uh, are included with your cabin and you can have them refilled with water at any of the bars on board. You've also got your Vox box here. Uh, we haven't used them yet, we're going to use them tomorrow for the first time. But essentially you take them out on your tours and wherever you are in your group you're going to be able to hear using these headsets what your uh, tour guide is saying. Directly underneath we have a fridge and uh, there are some items in here, they are chargeable. And next to those we have a drawer, don't want to show you all my smalls, uh, a cupboard with two shelves. Directly under the glass dresser area we've got a chair and a table. You can obviously move those by your French balcony should you want to sit there with the doors open, a little drink to hand. We've got a good size mirror over here with a travel blog, Jamie, not for sale by the way, unless you offer enough money. And more storage space here, another drawer, another cupboard with two shelves. I spent a long time trying to get into what I thought were these cupboards, but actually that's where your aircon unit is. Incidentally, the aircon works brilliantly here. And as you can see, I've got it down to Arctic levels at the moment. That's how I like it. Directly above the aircon unit, we have television, quite a small uh, TV, not too many channels on it. There is a music channel and you've got views from the bow as well. There's a separate chair here and there's just enough space to place it in front of your French doors. Let's have a look outside, shall we? Look how close to the water level you are here. It's absolutely stunning. Now these doors actually open pretty wide. I think that will go even further, yep. So look, it's almost like your own balcony. Let's have a peep outside without me dropping my phone. Ah, oh, look at these views. Awesome. It's literally every few minutes when you're sailing the Danube, there's always something else that pops up, either port or starboard side. It's beautiful. So if you're wondering where your extra kitchen goes, if you want to buy a French balcony cabin for the duration of your uh, river cruise, this is where it goes and it's superb. So let's just pan around one more time so you can see the bedroom area. Some of you might think there's not a great deal of space around the outside. Um, I think it works well actually and it's really nice to have the option of that separate chair to come and watch the world go by. Incidentally, there is room underneath the bed for, oh my goodness, you could probably fit about four cases under there. There's loads of space. Righty, let's have a look at the bathroom. Um, it's unusual actually, you've got sort of frosted glass, uh, unfrosted at the top, so if you want to see your partner's head at any point, you know, no problem. Now I think this bathroom is comparable to most cruise line bathrooms, with the exception of the shower, which actually is a really good size, look at this. It's a good shower, it's powerful enough, uh, it's certainly hot enough. Oh, and my loves, you could absolutely fit at least three people in here. Can I also say, um, this room comes with Molten Brown products and all three are absolutely delicious. I know because I've eaten every single one. You see, there's just one of me in here and look how much extra space there is. You might be pleased to know there are no clingy curtains in this shower or glass door. 
And then we obviously have our toilet, enough room on there for two cheeks, I would suggest. Uh, below your sink basin, uh, actually there's a cupboard with shelf storage space. You've got more bog roll, you've got your hairdryer, and over here you can pull this out and it, uh, there's a bin inside. We have, again, a good sized mirror and storage space over here with a shelf plus another unit up here. So it gets the thumbs up from me. Quick peep at the storage space under the sink. There you go. And over here that pulls out, like I said, that's where you've got your bin. We've got a socket for your razors, your electric toothbrush. Again, more space up here. And one of those very, very unpleasant close-ups. <gasps> Another Molten Brown product uh, by the Sink Basin and that air freshener, uh, that's ours. That was just in case the bathroom was a bit whiffy. It isn't. There's a lot of hoo-ha online about the frosted glass doors to the bathroom. Well, it might surprise you to know, or maybe not actually, <laughs> Matthew is in there showering. And I feel confident that I can post this on the internet because you don't see any bits or bops or flappy bits, do you? So I think we're okay. All right, and the last bit of storage space, we've got uh, floor to ceiling mirrors here. And inside we have in this particular part of the cupboard, one, two, three, four, five shelves. And lastly in here, I suppose this is your wardrobe really, isn't it? So we've got a shelf up here. Oh dear, look at all this hanging down. We've got some hanging space. If you need more hangers, just ask, that isn't a problem. And there are two shelves down here as well, which we are using for our shoes. Now then, if you've checked out my full vlog on our Tui Skylar uh, River Cruise, you'll have heard me talk about the Little Extras package. So check that out if you haven't already. But that includes complimentary breakfast, which we brought to your cabin. Okay, not many sockets in the cabin. You've got one European socket here. You have another here where your Vox box is charging. And there's a USB port in the television. Here's a look at the laundry list. On board Tui Skylar, if you want anything done whilst on board, this is what you need to collect from reception. We were going to get some t-shirts um, washed, but actually it's five euros per t-shirt. You might think that's not much, but actually we can buy a t-shirt in Primark for less than that. So that's a no. Alrighty, let's check out some nighttime views from this cabin. Are you ready? I honestly think this is one of the most peaceful things I've done in a long time. I know some people be saying, oh, a river cruise boring. I just think this is blissful. I really do. Wine, cocktail to hand, and look at this. We were super impressed with this spacious, comfy cabin and can 100% recommend it. Don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. <laughs>